<laughs> this is awesome. You can't polish a turd, but you can roll it in sprinkles. Okay, Thomas from Oklahoma just sent me something really fun. I gotta read these to you. I haven't read them yet. Uh, dumb laws in Alaska. Let's see. Moose may not be viewed from an airplane. Who's gonna want to look at? Okay, well, technically, like there are tours that go around and they look at bears, but I didn't know it was illegal to look at a moose. What if? Okay, what if you're like at a commercial liner and you're like flying to the lower 48 and you see a moose out the window? Is everybody on the left side of the plane gonna get in trouble? Doubt it. That's weird though, that's so weird. Uh, while it is legal to shoot bears, waking a sleeping bear for the purpose of taking photographs is prohibited. Well, yeah, don't wake bears. Like it's, you, you should just leave them, unless they're like underneath your house, then that's a problem. In which case you should call like, you know, the, the Department of Wildlife and have them like removed. But yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. That's bad, don't do that. It is considered an offense to push a live moose out of a moving airplane. Who the hell is gonna take a moose on an airplane anyway? You see the airplanes out here, they're really small. Even if it was like a big enough airplane, like you should know better than to bring a moose. And and like, what, what are they gonna do with it? <laughs> hey guys, watch this. <laughs> and technically, wouldn't that make number one like a double offense? Because a moose may not be viewed from an airplane. So like, okay, if you're gonna push a moose from an airplane, push, but don't look. That way you only have one offense. Persons may not live in a trailer while it is being hauled across a city. Hang on a second. Okay, so if, say you live in a trailer, like, like a, a motorhome or whatever, and you're just moving it from Walmart to Target. Because <laughs> I, I guess that's what some people do. Like, is, does that mean, like, you can't move it? You have to, like, station it in one place? Or does it mean, like, you just can't sleep or use the toilet or, you know, cook some dinner while you're on the way? I don't know. That's... Like, what do they, what do they consider living in it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it is considered an offense to feed alcoholic beverages to a moose. Don't feed the moose in the first place, especially if it's alcohol. That's messed up. Like, actually, do moose get drunk? What would they do? That would just be bad. Don't, don't, just don't. That's bad. Drink it yourself. And then you can feed the moose because you're dumb and that moose is going to mess you up. Moose, they, they look all nice and they're great, but they're... They're mean, they can be. Um, a person may only carry a concealed slingshot if that person has received the appropriate license. Okay, a couple parts to this. Number one, concealed. Like, as long as you show the slingshot, do you not have to have the license? Hey guys, I've got a slingshot, it's okay. Don't need a license. But if you got caught and they're like, hey, Little kid, what do you do with that slingshot? I made it with my dad with rubber bands. Oh, kid, you're going to jail. Like, is it that bad? How bad is that offense? Because, dude, when I was a kid, I made lots of slingshots. They weren't good. They were terrible. But you know what? It was a slingshot. Okay, this one is really stupid. It is against the law to attempt to break any law in Title IX of the Code, Public Peace, Morals, and Welfare. So what they're trying to say is it is against the law to break the law. What? In Juno, owners of flamingos may not let their pet into barber shops. Okay, you have a pet flamingo. And who brings their flamingo, if they have one, into a barber shop? Did somebody one day say, come on flamingo, we're gonna get our hair cut. And the flamingo bit somebody and then there was a lawsuit. They're like, all right, look, no more flamingos in the barber shop. Like, where else did this person take their flamingo? Because the barber shop is like the last place I would take any of my pets. Persons may not allow attractive nuisances to exist. So what if you're really hot, but everyone finds you annoying? You're dead. Multipurpose viewer says Alaska Day is on October 18th. I wonder what they do on Alaska Day. Aaron, I really like that you did this. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? Because you come from Alaska and you miss Alaska, I'm gonna give you a little piece of home. Take some leaves off my tree and send these to you. <laughs> I don't know, I'll write you something too, but yeah. Just a little piece of home. Jennifer, tell your husband thank you for his service. And that does suck that you're living in Washington um, alone and you don't know anybody. But you know what? Uh, go online and look up like a community calendar and see what's going on in the area. Like even if it's just like a craft show and, and it's not really something you're interested in, 
you never know, you might become interested in it. Even like the, the quilt show that, that Chris and I went to, it's not that, you know, we went because we need to see the amazing quilts, which I do have to say they were pretty darn good. It's, it's all about just getting out and you never know who you're gonna meet. Like the other day, we went to that uh, Bubbly for Boobies charity event for breast cancer awareness, and we met a lot of good people there. So yeah, just get out, try new things, and you'd be surprised who you meet. Congratulations, Beth and Jason, on your new baby. I know you guys are only like a couple weeks in, but yeah, everybody else, if you guys wanna see their videos, you can go to Lady Warplendinker, I think that's how you say it, but you can uh, see their progress in their vlogs. So Brandon, MRBN45, asked a bunch of questions, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there might be asking the same thing, so I'll go ahead and answer these. Um, why should I move to Alaska, and is it worth moving to Alaska? Well, for me, yes, absolutely. Like, I love this place. I wanted to come. It was just, like, when I had the opportunity, I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. My biggest reason for moving to Alaska, I'll be honest, was Kristen. I wanted to be with her because she's an amazing person. Um, but yeah, that just that's up to you. What kind of person are you? And watching the vlogs, are you loving it? Because this is I'm showing the real parts of Alaska. So if you like it, you'll love it. Uh, how is the job market in Alaska? As I said before, amazing. Like there are so many employers right now trying to find employees, but there just aren't enough people to fill the job. So yeah, the job markets are crazy. How much do homes cost on average in Alaska? That I don't know. Uh, this place. I, you know what, here's the other thing too. Coming from Los Angeles, like this place is cheaper than Los Angeles, but what I hear is this place is higher than most of the other places in the US. But, uh, you know, just look online. Look on like trulia.com or, or, or rent.com or wherever and just kind of see for yourself, look around it because everybody's got a different price range. Um, what does Alaska have that Massachusetts doesn't? Well, considering I've only been to Massachusetts twice, I would say we have uh, more mountains, moose, uh, more bears, <laughs> less people, probably. Actually, I don't know, who, who has more people, Massachusetts or Alaska, like the whole state? I would almost think Massachusetts, even though it's small, probably has more people than Alaska has because Anchorage is the biggest city and it's, I think it's only maybe, actually, I don't, I don't know the numbers, I really don't. Um, what is health insurance like in Alaska? That I don't know because I, I have a Blue Cross and it's nothing's changed. Um, are there any? Are there many doctors and hospitals and stuff like that in Alaska? Of course, there are lots of doctors and hospitals. Uh, you know, if you live in like out in the middle of nowhere, of course it's going to be a little you know hard to come by. But here in Anchorage, yeah, it's you're fine. It's just like any other big city, really. Um, how is the air and nature in Alaska? First of all, the air is crazy. Like I know I've said this before, but the air quality here is ridiculous. Like the, the sky, I, I know people say, oh, I've seen a blue sky. No, when you come to Alaska, you know what a blue sky is. And um, this also sounds kind of crazy and it's hard to explain, you actually have to be here. But even uh, anywhere in the lower 48, I mean, even in the middle of Nebraska, um, there's still this, this haze that you don't realize. It's not necessarily that there's a lot of pollution out there, but there's just haze. Um, and here in Alaska, it's like the, the air is so clear that you can see for miles and miles. Like if, if I go to the top of one of these mountains here, I can see 300 miles plus in any direction. Like I can see mountains that far away. That's unheard of anywhere else in the US. Like even like Yosemite, you know, like I live near Yosemite, no way. No way could you see that far. And it's it's literally like looking into like the, the craziest high definition television in the world. I, I, I don't know. You have to come to Alaska to experience it. it. You see better, you see clearer, you see further. And the air is amazing. You also don't get sick here. You will not hear a lot of people getting sick because it's just, it's not dirty. Um, uh, and the animals, of course, there's, there's a lot. It's awesome. If I move to Alaska, where should I move to in Alaska? Again, that is up to you. Uh, there's a couple places that people normally move to. What I kind of think is the most popular isn't necessarily Anchorage, which is strange. It is the biggest city here in Alaska, but I've heard more people moving to Fairbanks, uh, which is where a lot of my uh, friends have moved to, and I haven't been there yet. It's, it's up north. Um, but Fairbanks, there's a lot of work out there. There's just, there's a lot of work everywhere in Alaska, but Fairbanks is pretty darn popular. And, and here, you know, this area, because there's a lot of people. And that's it for the letters today. Thanks for writing, guys. It really does mean a lot.
So now I'm going to pick up Kristen and look at those mountains. Kinda, kinda gross looking actually. The rain came through and started washing some of the snow away, so now it looks kinda gross and slushy. I guess that's what people have been telling me about, but yeah, that sucks. Not looking forward to that. So I've been meaning to show you guys this. See all the fences on the side of the, uh, the freeway here? It's not just from the base. These are for the moose. See that? That place right there? The moose go in there and then they get caught. And that's how they try to keep the moose off the freeways. By the way, I haven't really told you this. So we live kind of close to the uh, the artillery range over in the army base, and every now and then we can actually hear them testing things. You just hear like big guns. I mean, huge guns. And the other night there was this explosion, and I swear it just shook everything. It was just like boom, awesome. And by the way, how many of you have heard of studded tires? I had no idea what studded tires were before I moved to Alaska, but essentially what they are, it's a, a tire that has cleats on it. Uh, you know, like if you're gonna play football or what the rest of the world calls it, soccer, and you've got your shoes with those metal things on it to help you get better traction, well, that's what these things do for cars. They help them get better traction on ice. And um, I don't know, I, I find them interesting because first of all, they're really loud. When they're on the road, you just hear <laughs> That's gotta tear the road up. Like it cannot be good for the road. And also like, how long do they last? That's something I don't know either because the road would eat it up, right? As you drive, it would just wear the metal down. So I don't know, do, do they have to replace them every season? If so, that's expensive. All right guys, well it's getting pretty late so we're gonna go to bed. But first I wanted to recommend a movie to you. This is a, a movie, one of my favorite movies. Um, it's probably not going to be everyone's taste, but if you love beautiful things, if you love nature, and well, actually, it's it's not really a film about nature. Culture. It's culture. Yeah, it's very, very, very much about culture. It's a movie called Baraka. Look this up. Find it on Blu-ray, preferably. If you watch it any way else, I think you're kind of wasting your time. I don't know. It's still good. It's still really good, but just watch it on Blu-ray. Trust me. This is amazing. It is beautiful inspired a lot of my um, my filmmaking as well like uh, early on when I started you know getting away from the stunts and more into filmmaking honestly this movie was kind of my inspiration for that um, because it is just so beautiful it's it's beyond words yeah, that's what it says a world beyond words I didn't even <laughs> but anyways yeah so uh, we're gonna go to sleep I feel very inspired I hope to have some beautiful dreams I hope you do too. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys do too. Why not? Let's all have beautiful dreams together. <laughs> Let's dream about, I don't know. You know what? Actually do this for me. Leave a comment down below and tell me one place you would love to go more than anywhere in the world. I'd love to see. Like, I, I want to know where you guys want to go. Sounds, sounds pretty interesting. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!